Why do we find certain people more attractive than others? It will come as no surprise that we tend to be attracted to people who are like us in terms of personality traits, socioeconomic status, values, interests, and backgrounds. That's how the dating sites match people up, right? Research confirms this, but that doesn't explain the instinctual side of attraction. Part of the answer has to do with bilateral symmetry. Dr. Stephen Gangstead at the University of New Mexico has researched how symmetrical features are considered more attractive. Cover up the right half of your face and take a photo of the left half. Now switch and cover up the left half and take a picture of the right half. Compare the photos. Are they similar? Do your eyes line up exactly? Is one side of your nose shaped the same as the other side? Most of us have some asymmetry, difference between the right and left sides. Some people are more symmetrical and others less symmetrical. People find more symmetry more attractive. Symmetry isn't only about our faces. Our bodies can also be more or less symmetrical. So why do we find symmetry to be more attractive? Dr. Gangstead says it may have to do with oxidative stress. During development in the uterus, babies are exposed to more or less free radicals. The more free radicals in the cells, the more likelihood of damage to DNA. This is called oxidative stress. And the more oxidative stress there is, the more asymmetry there will be. Asymmetry is a signal of oxidative stress. Asymmetry is a signal of possible DNA damage. From an evolutionary and unconscious viewpoint, we are looking for partners who do not have DNA damage. Symmetrical features are a clue that someone has less DNA damage. Bolstering that theory is the research that shows that men who are rated more attractive have less oxidative stress chemicals in their blood. The second reason why we are attracted to people has to do with pheromones. Pheromones are chemicals that are produced by our bodies and can be picked up through smell. In a kind of gross and smelly research study, women were given t-shirts that had been well worn by various men. The women had to rate how attractive they found the smell of the t-shirt. Women liked the t-shirts of the men that they were the most different from on a DNA level. In other words, women were attracted to men that would give them a more diverse gene pool. Have you heard it said, you can't help who you're attracted to? Well, it might be true. Your unconscious is making DNA-level decisions for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the Brain Signal channel. What do you think makes someone attractive? Give us your ideas in the comments area.